So, here's a quick video of a homemade CNC conversion for a Bridgeport model BRJ mill. Hey, you heard it guys, the introduction, we're dealing with a Bridgeport, which is an amazing system when they're converted correctly. Let's see where this goes. Those stepper motors are controlled by micro step drivers, which are in the little box here. Okay, so the content creator is showing you his electrical enclosure with his retrofit. And we really can't see this. Let's use this snapshot once again in Topaz Photo AI to show exactly what's going on here. All right, guys, let's delve in and see exactly what we're working with here. You can see that this is a snapshot from his video. If you look over here, it says Arduino. And then over here, we could see the enclosure. And of course, it's very dark lighting. Once again, I'm using Topaz's Photo AI. I'm going to click on Add Enhancement, and we're going to go over here to Adjust Lighting, click on it. And it's enhancing right now. You can see that right over here. There's the preview, and everything has been corrected. Now I'm just going to close that out so we can see. And once again, we can see exactly what's going on. I'm going to zoom in, and as I do that, it's going to readjust. And you can see that we have the trusty daisy chain going on. This doesn't even justify a real electronics enclosure for CNC controls. Um, we see the Arduino USB controller being used, which once again has no place for being used within a CNC. Um, I can, I'll post on the screen again, Balzus's email. It's in virtually every one of my CNC fail videos now. You guys can check it out for yourself. I want to keep this ending of the video as short as possible, but it's really a disgrace when we see content creators really just butchering a robot like a Bridgeport mill because these mills are designed for industrial machining and when they're retrofitted correctly, they are amazing. I have a lot of clients making a lot of money with Bridgeports that are retrofitted. This virtually assures you have problems and I cannot emphasize that enough. If we look at this and we zoom in, we'll let the software recalibrate and you can see basically everything here being done incorrectly from daisy chaining on both ends. Um, I don't even see any cooling here being done. Uh, it's just a mess. Nothing is shielded. You can see those cables are bare. I mean, it's basically every problem that I've just discussed in the previous segment, you guys can now see once again for yourselves right here on a full-scale bridge port.